Oh, Stickosaurus here, and we finally got it. We got the King Oger Deluxe Mecha. This was sent to me by a good friend of mine for a Christmas present. It is April, but hey, better late than never. It wasn't his fault that it came out middle of last month. Super excited about this. It's kind of it's kind of really grown on me. I loved it at first glance. Uh, and then when we saw the previews of it, I was like, okay, that's awesome. It's made up of 10 mech, I believe, all for this transformation. I'm sure we're going to get some crazy stuff down the line. We already have, like, the next combination mech. I have one of them. The review will be coming for that, too, hopefully soon. And some auxiliary mech. And we're going to do separate review for those. This is just going to be focusing on this. Awesome box art. They're really knocking it out of the park with the box art the last two seasons. Though so even, like, Cure Major had really cool box art and all that. Zenkaiger was okay. It was okay. Uh, Cure Major, I thought, was definitely a little better, but you can't compare it with Dawn Brothers and King Oja right now. Just unmatched. But we're going to get this popped open here, and we'll take a look at all the individual mech and then the combination. So the gang is all here. Here is all 10 shoe gods that make up King Oger. Here is the big one. Kuwagata God. I like like the random paint spatters on them. It looks like they've been like repaired and all that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the arms for the combination kind of stick out like a sore thumb to me but when it's sitting we're from straight on it's not super noticeable it's just like from the side it kind of is but all these legs are movable pincers up and down left and right uh, the wing areas move in and out next up is a tombow this is a lot longer than I expected. I love the wings. Translucent blue is awesome. Again, with the random paint apps, which I like. It's, it's different. It's different. Eyes are awesome. Very metallic green. Not a whole lot to him, but he is the sword, so. Kamakiri God. The gaping hole is kind of a downside. That's for sure. you think they'd have like a flap or something. Pincers move. Legs have ratchet joints. Here's Hachigan. Wings are in a ball joint. Again, I love this translucent blue. Paint apps on the face are awesome. Last of the big ones. Here's Papillon. Really cool wings. I wish this blue was like the translucent blue on top, but yeah, that's my favorite color, so I'm a big fan. Here's the eyes. I know we had trouble finding the eye color when we were making the helmet. If you saw that video. It's definitely like a glow-in-the-dark white kind of uh, light lime green. There's the head for the combined mode. Uh, these legs move. Wings. Now the little ones, we have two uh, ladybugs. Not a whole lot to these, to be honest. I believe that these are called the Kumo, the spiders, make up the torso. Again, not a whole lot to these, but they still look great. And my favorite, God Ant. But he's just cute and little. I wish we got an Ant Ranger, that would have been awesome. But he is tiny. So that's each individual mech. So let's get combining.
that is the combined mode. Not very difficult to put together. Had a couple issues the first time trying to figure out where the peg was. Uh, to attach it to the sword, I was just being stupid. Everything else, it just makes sense where it goes. Pegs are really nice, and it looks beautiful. Like, look how menacing this thing is. It has crazy articulation. We got, you know, upper elbows, arm swivel, two joints on the arms, wrist move, torso ratchets, the ratchet joints in the legs here. That's about as far as they go up. Still pretty good. I mean, for uh, for a DX Megazord, pretty amazing. Thigh swivel, ratchet knee joints. Go about there. Ankle rock. Not a ton, but enough. Both sides. Here's some of the dynamic poses you can do with it, as well as it scales up with a couple of Megazords. Osier Deluxe Mech in all its glory. It is amazing. The fact it's made up of 10 Zords and doesn't feel flimsy is impressive, as well as the posability is off the charts. What they did with Dawn Brothers was fantastic, but they outdid themselves with the King Ogre line so far. I mean, they took the great idea Dawn Brothers had and just went up another level. And it really shows. It really shows. I think this is really what Sentai needed. I mean, I'm still a sucker for big plastic bricks. <laughs> I, you know, I still, I still enjoy that. But this, this is something magical. If they can keep this going, I think we're going to get some real special stuff down the line. This is just the base form. We don't even know how it's going to look with the Ultimate Gotai and all that. So we'll, we'll have to see. It's just mesmerizing. It's such a great piece. God Ant is probably a highlight for sure. But I do have the Auxiliary Mech. I have the Snail and the Pill Bug. We'll do a little review for those one of these days, as well as I have Kabuzu God. I think I'm going to wait till we get the Sasori and the Grasshopper mech. They're not out yet. I messed up and didn't get the three pack. I got the single release of Kabuzu God. Not a huge deal, but I got to wait for the other two to come in. So once we get those, we will do a review of that form. Again, thanks for watching. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Sixors, Facebook, Sticks, which is with props. Check out the link tree in the description for a link to the merch store, for intro t-shirts, the Patreon, if you're interested in behind the scenes videos, extra helmet build videos, exclusive files, community builds, all kinds of stuff, as well as the Discord if you're interested in just hanging out and talking about Tokusatsu or anything related. Hopefully we get some more tour reviews going here. If there's anything you'd like to see me review, let me know and I can try to make it happen. But as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.